What's going on ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Guns Blazing once again. And since you guys absolutely demolished that like button on the last video, here's the video as promised. So let me explain the Weevo Parasite deck and my card choices for it. But first of all, if you didn't already know, Parasite Infestation is a skill that shuffles 1-3 to three Parasite Parasites into your opponent's deck base up. Now, if they happen to draw this card, they, they're they forced to summon it in uh, on the field in defense position. And they take 1,000 damage for doing so. It has 500 attack and 300 defense. And so to capitalize on this, we have we have our boy uh, Gyakugar Panda. Got the Panda triplets. So basically what this monster does is deal piercing battle damage to your opponent. And also its attack is increased by 500 for every monster on your opponent's side of the field. Having a Parasite. Parasite on their side of the field boosts this guy's attack. Plus, he can uh, trample all over that measly 300 defense. Big Shield Gardner and Cocoon of Evolution are your defensive options. And not only do they provide a wall, but if your opponent attacks into them with lower attack monsters, they're going to be taking damage. And that's what this deck is about. Just whittling them down with all kinds of damage. So next up, we got this Gravity Axe. What this does is locks your opponent's uh, monsters down in defense position after you uh, after you hit them with a Windstorm or a Curse of Anubis or a Karibo. And then, since they're in defense mode, you, you can just uh, use Shadow Slayer to attack them directly. So that's one combo to keep in mind. Next, you got the Mask of the Cursed. Locks down your opponent's monsters so that they cannot attack. And also, they're taking 500 every turn as long as it stays on the field. We got Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu because we have four equips and we, we'd like to fish those out of the deck as soon as possible. Next up we got Jade Insect Whistle. This guarantees that your opponent will put an insect on the top of their deck. Now the reason I'm not running three of them is because one, you're not guaranteed to have three Parasite Parasites in their deck. The most you're guaranteed is one. So I'm only running one because if you're running three Jade Insect Whistles, and they only have one Parasite Parasite. Guess what? The other two Whistles are dead cards. Next reason is because some people run other insects such as Ladybug or a Cocoon of their own. And that will basically render this card useless. So it's a good card, but I wouldn't run three. Blast held by a Tribute locks down your opponent's Tribute monsters. Now we need this because... Since we're putting a Parasite Parasite on their side of the field, that's actually one monster that they can use as a tribute. Plus, since we're using Mask of the Cursed, one thing they're likely to do is tribute the monsters that are equipped with Mask of the Cursed. Because that's one way to get rid of it from the field. Alright, so this deck right here is an alternative version. Slash a budget version. It's only running two Ultra Rares. So we're focusing more on Earthquake and Shadow Slayer combo. So basically get them all into defense position, then hit them in the face for 1400. And we're also running Parasite Parasite. And Jade Insect Whistle. The thing with Parasite Parasite though is that if it's destroyed, it actually doesn't get shuffled into your opponent's deck. So you're going to have to find a way to get it flipped, but not destroyed in battle. Anyways, I'll be showing both of these decks in this video. So hope you enjoy the clips, and I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Peace.
effect on a monster. My turn is done. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Just like that, he's already at a thousand. I refuse to lose. That ends my turn. My turn. I still believe in my cards. I set a card. Now is the time. My monster's effect activates. Sure, he can do that, but. My monster's effect activates. I'm gonna mask it next turn. I guess I should have like attacked the other one instead. But I went for the damage play. My face down card activates. I activate an equip spell. I'm gonna force him to tribute this. I set a card face down. That's all I can do this turn. I will not lose. My I still believe in my cards. I draw. Now is the time. I tribute summon a monster. My monster's effect activates. Sure. I'm gonna let him kill this thing actually. With a monster. I'm gonna let him kill it. That's the end. Yes, I want to save Karibo for in case he has a different monster next time. Ooh, but I have Windstorm. It's a uh, it's a double safety. Now let's hope he doesn't have a third Oracle. So he has to tribute again. Here I go. I tribute summon a monster. My monster's effect activates. Time to battle. It's over. I attack your life points directly. My monster's effect Pop Karibo first because next turn he could have two monsters that I have to throw into defense mode. That's the end. Really fucking... I draw. I set a card face down. I refuse to lose. That's all I can do this my turn. turn. I still believe in my cards. I draw. I'm counting on you. I summon a monster in attack position. Ooh, and he doesn't play around Time Windstorm. We now go. we have a chance. I attack your life points directly. So. My face down card activates. My trap activates. That's the You're end. such a pest. My turn. Uh, I draw. Use 
That's to all lose. I can do this turn. My turn. I still believe in my cards. I draw. I set a card. I'm counting on you. I summon a monster in attack position. Time to battle. Please attack with a great. Ooh. I attack with a monster. Best game. He messed up, bro. He should have attacked with Oracle first. Now let's see if he has a trap that... Oh, he doesn't. Okay. So he made he made two misplays at the end. I made one misplay at the start by uh, not attacking the face down instead of Parasite Parasite. But this guy didn't play around Windstorm and he didn't attack with Gravekeeper's Oracle first. All right, so this is the this is the budget version of the deck. It's uh, kind of the same premise. It just it uses a lot more Shadow Slayers, so in a way, it's also a bit more aggressive. So this guy has four star Ladybug. Interesting. That's a problem with Jade Insect Whistle. It doesn't guarantee that they'll pull, uh, you know, the card that you want. So he probably did play his ladybug right there. My turn is done. And I'm gonna attack into it. Let me try to jade him one more time. Maybe he's out of insects. Alright, so that was his last insect for Parasite Parasite. I'm gonna go ahead and attack. It's actually Hain Hain. My monster's effect activates. It's fine with me. I end it's my, my turn. turn. The thing about Jade Insect Whistle is it also prevents. Well, I if it if it makes your opponent draw Parasite, Parasite, basically prevents them from drawing a card. Because this card is is. Like, it's of no use to them. I'm counting on you. I should uh, It's not over yet. Now's the time. My monster's effect activates. So he's, he has a relinquished instead. Time to battle. Let's do this. I'm not going to use Mask of the Curse just yet. I'm going to use it on his Relinquish. Another filthy thing about this deck is that even if he sucks up my panda, it's only going to be 800 attack because Relinquished only takes the base attack. It doesn't take into account any boosts. Alright, so he's going for Ryoku. I don't know why. Possibly going for Lethal. Spell. 
Um. Okay, yeah, he is going for a lethal. Now is the time. My ritual summon a monster. My monster's effect activates. I'm gonna wait it out until he hits the battle phase before I pop my Curse of Anubis. Otherwise, he's still gonna be able to switch Sonic Bird back into attack Let's mode. Let's do this. So now is the time. I your life points directly. I don't think so. I reveal my face down card. My trap activates. That's Get ready. Let's draw. There's the next panda. Play this just in case he Karibos me. Uh, relinquished because I'm attacking Sonic Bird. That's the end. Two parasites. I set a monster. I set a car. I turn. My turn. Draw. Let's try to jade this boy again. Let's hope he doesn't have no ladybugs. All right, that's good. That's what I like to see. So it's times like these where, you know, Shadow Slayer would really, really do good. Because all his monsters are in defense position. Since he's playing the stall game, let's uh, let's put a timer on him by putting this mask on the, on the inside. And your boy's not gonna attack because 500 attack is not gonna kill anything. So there's the Shadow Slayer. Now would be a put good time to put down the Windstorm. Now let's hit this boy in the face. So he four stars your boy. Uh, luckily, this guy drew this in the starting hand, or else he would have been able to pull it out with Jade Insect Whistle. From my hand, I activate a ritual spell. And there's the there's a relinquished. No retreat. 
I ritual summon a monster. My monster's effect activates. I'm gonna let him hit me in the face with these things. Your boy doesn't really mind. It's like it's not it's not doing anything to me. It's 500 plus 800. That's 1300. It's gonna take him three, four full turns to kill me with this pathetic damage. I activate the trap card, Metalmorph. Mmm, Metalmorph. That's uh, that's scary, bro. So let me make room for my Jade. I shuffled two of them. Oh, oh, hold up, hold up. I actually cannot do that because Jade Insect Whistle. There's no room for it on the field. Which is my bad. Yeah, the thing is, if he has three monsters, Jade Insect, I don't know, Parasite, Parasite will just, it'll just go straight to the graveyard. But either way, I don't think he has, I don't think he has a way to deal with like, with the Mask of the Curse. So he finally has a way to deal with it, actually. But it's too late. Nah, Jade still won't do it, because that monster's gonna return at the end of the turn. You get Shadow Slayer out. That's the game. Good game. Impossible. 